this is kind of uh, odd and terrible news to share on what is Mother's Day here in uh, the States and probably other uh, other places worldwide as well, but uh, 2016 has obviously taken a lot of people from us and now it has taken perhaps the most powerful or at least the most well-known marriage in heavy metal music and that is of course Sharon and Ozzy Osbourne. Uh, they have decided to split up. After 33 years of marriage, these two have opted to split. And apparently Ozzy has already moved out. He has vacated the premises. And that is supposed to be temporary. So, there are a couple of different things that uh, could potentially be the cause of this that have been either denied or talked down or whatever. This is based off of an article from E! Online. And believe me, we'll get to that. Uh, there's denial of a uh, of an affair that was being conducted between Ozzy and a celebrity hairstylist, which really doesn't seem like Ozzy's style, unless she was, you know, really hot and she liked old guys. And, you know, Ozzy's not exactly a spring chicken anymore. That's what I'm going to say about that. But whatever, you know, to each their own. Uh, and, and obviously, and it also has nothing to do apparently with his sobriety. Um, He's only been sober for about a year and a half, and that's probably a surprise to a lot of people considering you watch some Aussie DVDs and it says he's been sober for a long time. It's because he was, and then around the time whenever 13 was being created, uh, around that same time frame, apparently he was drinking again, and uh, not just in moderation, was using prescription pills. And this was uh, explored by Sharon on the television show The Talk, which she is a, a member of the panel. Um, and she said to the degree of uh, everybody knows that he's been struggling with this his entire life, his being Aussie, uh, and I never knew that he was using prescription drugs. I knew that he was drinking occasionally, but I didn't realize to the extent. It's a disease that not only hurts the person uh, that has the disease, but it hurts the family. It hurts people that love you, and we're dealing with it. We've dealt with worse, and we will deal with it, and this too shall pass. That's a critical statement that I want to talk about here momentarily. Uh, but the final thing, which is signature Sharon, otherwise my husband will be taken to the hospital to get my foot removed from his ass. There's the Sharon we know. So anyhow, this seems kind of strange in from left field. Something either has to have happened behind the scenes that has caused this deterioration to get to a point of no return, to get to a point where this option felt the best and the only option, uh, because it seems like this was a group, this was a pair, this was a marriage that survived literally everything. And of course, a lot of it had to do with, with Ozzy's addiction. A lot had to do with Ozzy's antics and erratic behavior. Uh, but Sharon, of course, stood by her man, and he, in turn, has stood by her. That is what we're getting from all of this. So, obviously, something extremely tragic had to either occur or it was just one of those wake-up moments where you wake up and realize that this is what it is and this is how it's going to remain. You know, it seems kind of strange. You would think that after all that they had been through, something of these varieties would be sort of like piddly shit, but it no doubt still wears on the soul, no doubt still wears on the heart. And doesn't make it the easiest of experiences to uh, wake up and walk around the earth that populates such people. So, E! Online, I, I wondered if there was more information that I could get by going to E! Online. The, the article that I read was from a different source. It's in the description below if you wish to go and read it. Uh, so I decided to go over to E! Online and see if I could get more information. What a mistake that was, because the first thing I was greeted with was an advertisement for keeping up with the Kardashians. Well, thank you, E-Online, uh, but I will pass. I don't want to keep up with the Kardashians. I personally wish the Kardashians didn't exist. That's just me. So then I'm reading through this article. Uh, I don't get very far, and then I am greeted with this lovely little sentiment here. Photos, reality TV curse, 14 divorces that came after cameras invaded. And of course, Sharon and Ozzy Osbourne had the Osbournes, and now they're being, now they're separating, potential divorce. Maybe 
not the best of clickbait to try to throw on something like this. Personally speaking, reality TV caused me to divorce my television set. And personally speaking, whenever it comes to that concept, reality television, everybody seems to have a show. The Osbournes had a show. Uh, Dave Mustaine may have a show. You know, Hulk Hogan had a show. Oh, Nelly, did he have a show? I have a show too, don't you know? It's called I Wake Up, I Walk Around, I Do Things, I Go Places. The only problem is, is that nobody else can watch it but me. That's what makes it so cool. It's a very exclusive show. It's not one that's on very many networks. Now, it might not be as interesting as theirs. I might not be able to go to Paris and have a, an episode from the top of the Eiffel Tower. But you know what? That's also because my contract is, is lucrative. And I'm in the bitter renegotiations right now. Anyhow, this is something that's kind of... It, like I said, it's Mother's Day whenever this video has been made and released. So it's kind of hard to watch a, a marriage sort of fall apart or to learn that a marriage has fallen apart on Mother's Day. It's really, you know, it's not supposed to happen that way, but of course the ideal case scenario doesn't always happen. In fact, it rarely seems to. Uh, I hope that they're at least still mutual friends or they're still communicating a little bit and perhaps this can be rectified a bit and if this if this is what has to happen in order for all of that not to become tarnished then I guess they're doing what's best for their marriage or what's best for them uh, best for the friendship so that way they don't want to kill one another that'd be the next thing we talk about so um, real sorry to hear about this um, you know, obviously the Osbournes did give us some funny moments. Jack! You know, they have three kids. Jack helps Ozzy to get the television away from the Weather Channel. Encourages Kelly to do something that doesn't involve singing. That's a joke. We didn't see Amy, their oldest, on screen. But uh, he no doubt, and she no doubt, both encourage Amy. Though she may not need it. She may be somebody huge right now. I don't know. I actually don't know anything about her. Uh, I want to know your thoughts about this. Uh, whether you're married, whether you're divorced, whether you're single, whether you're 14 years old and these ideas of love and forever have never entered into your, your mind, you're just hoping to get your winky whacked. I want to know your thoughts about this in the comments below. Let me know. My name is Cover Killer Nation and um, I'm sending my, my support to the Osbournes because, hey man, this is tough shit. So, a little bit of support for you.